Hey everyone and welcome back to Woo Woo Wednesday where I share my intuitive insight and weekly wisdom with you through the use of oracle cards. I'm Brittany Carmichael, the founder of Shine School and the Shine from the Inside Oracle where I empower women to break free of the fear that stops them from shining their light so that they can share their authentic passion and mission with the world. I am so excited to join you today because today is a full moon in Leo so it is fiery energy that is ready to be seen ready to be acknowledged, ready to be balanced, released, and courageously moving forward. So I'm very pumped to join you today on this full moon. I wanna take a minute to tune in, see how you guys are doing, see how you're feeling, and just check in. So on a scale of one to 10, take a nice long deep breath in, fill up your lungs, and then exhale, let it go, and scan your body from the top of your head to the tips of your toes, noticing if there's any tension or tightness or stress that's going on in, inside your system right now. And on a scale of one to 10, let us know in the comments, how are you feeling? One being, I don't feel that great. 10 being, I am freaking amazing. I feel like with all the retrogrades finally going direct, the energy is moving forward, our momentum is picking up, and we are now in a phase of serious physical and energetic manifestation. So not only are we changing the insides, but we're also starting to see that uh, change happen on the external as well. So massive changes happening at this time. Um, okay, so I'm gonna take a moment to tune in. A shout out to Josh and Gerald. Hello, Stacy. it's so good to see you. Hello from Spain. Oh, let me know where you guys are watching from. It is always so fun to see. Miss Sarah Nichols in the house, what up? Abby Rose is here, so freaking pumped. All right, Shelby's in the house. Haley's here from down under you guys are freaking amazing it's so cool to connect with you guys this full moon in leo is packed with so much power and so much um em empowerment to get you to take that courageous step forward you know my girlfriend was asking me today at the hair salon she was doing my hair she said what's like the secret trick like what's the thing that i can do to like make my manifestations like <laughs> chop chop I said action, you've gotta take action. You have to have a clearly defined goal, a clear and definite goal is the first step. And then the second step is taking immediate messy action in whatever direction you feel pulled to go, you feel called to go. It may not be the exact thing that you think is gonna get you to that end goal, but if you start making that momentum, if you start creating that energy and, and moving in, the, in a direction that says, I want something different, I'm asking for something more, that's like the catalyst to get that manifestation to unfold in your life a little bit faster. Um, currently somewhere in Arizona. Shout out to the truckers out there doing all the work for this world. Seriously love that you tune in, whether it's live for the Elevated Life Club or Woo Woo, I just, I mean, that just, I, I kept thinking about that yesterday after we got off the call, Tamlin, when you're, like I see you in your rig, I see you tuning in, obviously you can't close your eyes for the meditations that we do, but I see you, girl, you show up. And I, it, I was just so inspired by you yesterday thinking how many people make excuses for going after their goals or trying to better themselves. And anyone could use the excuse, well, I'm driving, I'm on the road, I can't, blah, blah, blah. But because that is where you spend most of your time, like you're not allowing that to be an excuse. And that just, like you really set the tone for the type of um, people that I love to help inspire and move forward in their life as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I just wanted to say that out there. Let you know how much you're appreciated and, and it means so much to me. So today I'm gonna pull some cards from the Shine From The Inside Oracle and I have a new deck for you guys. Uh, Chris for Valentine's Day picked up this deck. It's called Mindful, the Mindful Collective Affirmations. And it's a really cool affirmation deck that talks about balance and manifesting and masculine and feminine. It's super, super um, on point and right in alignment. It's also very beautiful. So I'm excited to pull a card from that as well. And then before we get started, I'm just gonna clear the energy and clear the air. I just got this new aroma spray from Mountain Rose Herbs. It's an organic farm in Bend, Oregon. And I've I've used them for many, many years and I just re-upped um, for the couples retreat that's coming uh, next week. We leave on Sunday, y'all. I'm so excited, our first couples retreat. So I ordered a bunch of like Aphrodite oil and spray and all incense and all the fun things. And I picked up this reflection spray for my meditation and yoga practice and oh my goddess, it smells so good. So I'm just gonna spray, cleansing the air, letting it all go. We know that full moons are a time of release, the time of illumination. It's a time of manifesting and receiving. I mean, think about it. You set the intention in the new moon and then 
it, you, you plant the seed and then when that full moon rises, that's when we start to begin to see the actual physical manifestations of that desire. So before I pull any cards, oh my gosh, I'm dying over here, it smells so good. Before I pull any cards, I wanna ask you, are you starting to see some of those seeds that you've planted in the past come to fruition and blossom in your life? Certain ideas or maybe even habits or beliefs about yourself. Just 28 days ago from the last moon, we are in a massive time of where we were internally starting to feel a new sense of ourself and now this full moon we are rooted in that new sense of self so it was old vibration and now we're headed into that new vibration so i want to ask you are you seeing that in your life are you seeing manifestations pop up or ideas that you've had starting to kind of come around and make more sense or the opportunities are starting to open up and flow a lot more easily if that's a yes let me know like let me know what you're manifesting below um, okay, let me catch in. My girls, Becky's here. Hello, Erica. Um, hey, girlfriend. Rach is here. Yes, I'm getting married in two days. Congratulations. That's so exciting. Um, okay, let's see. What else do we got here? Um, I love you too, babe. That's so awesome. Um, okay, boom. All right. Well, there you have it. Manifestations happening in the ethers coming to you. <sighs> but are you willing to receive? That's the big question. We can put out all the desires and everything we've ever wanted in our life, but if you're not open and willing and, and, and believe that you're worthy of receiving, then it's gonna knock at your door for a lot longer. Uh, it's gonna knock at your door and you're gonna think like, why isn't it here? But it's just that you haven't said yes to the opportunities showing up. Hey Rachel, it's so good to see you. I, check in with me after this. I wanna, I've been thinking about you and how you're doing after our reading last week, so I wanna check in. Um, oh, I love that you guys are so sweet and just cheering each other on. Okay, also last thing before I pull a card, some cards, whatever. I feel like I need to show you the deck. So Shine From The Inside just celebrated her two year birthday on Valentine's Day. So it's a big celebration and shout out um, to all the people that have made this dream come true. The over 7,000 people that have ordered a copy of the deck across the globe. It is international. I don't know how many countries it's in, but I do know that there have been a few translations of the guidebook into different languages. And that just means the world to me that we can spread the sparkle magic worldwide to help empower people to, to really fall in love with themselves and commit to their self-care. So that is something I just wanna publicly put out there. I'm so freaking thankful for you guys. Two years of making magic with the Shine From The Inside Oracle. You guys freaking rock. Thank you so much. All right, with that being said, magic's in the air, full moon in Leo, time to pursue your passions, time to be courageous, time to... I don't wanna look. <laughs> okay, let's see. All right. There we go, first card's already popping up. The energy is clear. It's like we are ready for new, we are ready for change, even though it's like kind of scary when you're balancing like leaving behind the old and then stepping into the new. I totally just did like a little foot thing. I don't think you guys can see it, but we're leaving behind the old and we're stepping into the new. And so this is a really beautiful time to reflect, to see what isn't in alignment anymore and it is blaringly obvious, and then to tune in and ask, well, what do I want and how do I want to feel? So this is a really good time to get clear on what's not working anymore and give yourself permission to let go and release. And if you don't even know what's not working but you're just done with that energy and you just know something is off, you can throw out that blank canvas statement that says, I now release all that no longer positively serves me. I will say, warning, You'll be surprised at what leaves your life if you leave it open to interpretation because a lot of the times we hold on to what is toxic because it's familiar even though it's uncomfortable. So you'll be surprised sometimes when you say that phrase to the universe. You gotta be careful and be willing to let go of what isn't working. Um, okay, last card. And then I'm gonna pull one card from the Mindful Collective Affirmation deck. I'll show you guys how beautiful this deck is. Um, it has a fun little magnetic box on the inside. It says the universe hears the whispers in your soul. No, in your heart, just kidding, same thing. Uh, same thing. I don't know how many cards are in this deck. It doesn't say, but I'm thinking it's probably about 30 or 40 something cards. It's got gold edges. And what I think is cool about this is that the backs of the cards are different. There's about five, four or five different patterns of the backs of the cards. 
super fun. And then you'll see on the other side, it's just, all, I'm like, I'm all up in Instagram. Let me back up a little bit. All the cards, right? Back of the cards. And then when you flip it over, you have all these different affirmations. So super beautiful, super simple, and super powerful. So uh, clear the energy and ask what our full moon affirmation will be. Ooh. They're a little sticky because they're new. And that's like a million, so we'll just wait for one. And I have just loved the, me Oop, the messages that have come from this deck so far. All right, we're going with this one. Okay, all the cards are set. If you guys are ready for this um, week's reading, go ahead and hit me some hearts, drop a comment below. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, share, like, tag, all the things you gotta do to spread the good vibes and we will get this party started. Um, okay, let's do it. First card for the week. Perform a random act of kindness. Holy moly, does this feel so good. When we take time to do something good for someone else, it comes back, it's like a double gift. They win, you win, and it creates this positive energy that, you know, makes that next person want to pass it forward and you feel so good because you've just shared and so you pass that on and so this to me is really about uh, getting out of your own head and just doing something kind for someone I have been um, in this year in my journal every day uh, or my planner rather every week I set up a little there's a little section that says like what gifts and surprises are you gonna do for people like there's a full-on section for that and so I've been very mindful this year about writing intentional things of like oh I'm gonna surprise my chiropractor with a gift card to a fancy restaurant oh I'm gonna send a happy box to one of our elevators who has really just shown so much progress and all the things like just so many different little things that like hit me with ideas and inspiration here's one that I did I ordered these little affirmation cards from Amazon hell I should probably just use my Oracle deck that would be super fun but I went around the building and I stuck a little positive quote card in everyone's door just so that when they got home there was like a little message that says good job you're doing great keep going you know little fun messages. So what is something that you can do to pass on kindness to another person? It just feels so good when you do that. So think about what that is and who you're gonna surprise. Um, okay, next one for the week is you are magic. I love this card so much because this is a reminder. And look, full moon, ah, I love it. Full moon, full moon. So this is a reminder that you have everything you need within you to manifest the wild and crazy dreams that are stirring in your heart. This is a reminder that you can do anything you put your mind to as long as you believe it's possible and you have the courage to move forward, to take action, to try something new, to fall down, to fuck up just to do something to share your creative expression, your talents, your skills, to be of service. This is a reminder that you have so much to give, whether it's love, sparkle magic, your talents, your listening ear. This is a time for you to figure out and hone in what is that thing that I naturally am good at, that people come to me for, and use that, start to use that as a sense of strength and a sense of power and figure out how you can use that particular skill in whatever modality you're offering, whether whether it's the job that you're in or the family that you're taking care of you know this is a, a a time to really reflect on your strengths and to be proud of who you are and your unique differences this is a, also a reminder that we are all completely different in how we operate think look talk sound um, and how we want to show up and how we feel joy so this is a this is saying to tune in to find your power to find your guidance to find your inner light and stop looking outside of yourself for that permission or that big sign that's like, hey, do this thing, because it's not coming. Yes, you'll get confirmation and signs along the way, but they won't come until you start making that decision and moving forward. So this is saying, use your power to make a decision and to know that you have everything within you to be able to manifest and make that happen. Even if you don't have it now, you are on the path to acquiring the skills or learning what you need to learn. Um, all right, so when you think about being pure magic, where do you feel like it is really easy for you to accept love for yourself? And where do you feel like it's really hard for you to accept love or compliments in your life? Take a moment to reflect on that. Um, and yeah, man, there's all, moons and stars are the vibe right now. <laughs> so I can't wait to see what this last card is. Another, it's more moons, more full moons. <laughs> Not two full moon cards in a row. That's amazing. So this is tune into your inner peace. 
you know, I did a reading for a stylist this week and, and I asked, what do you want? And she says, I want peace and abundance. I'm like, well, then you're gonna have to be open to interpretation on how the universe delivers that to you. Because if sometimes we choose that we want peace, but our goal is to, uh, you know, like, mm, I don't know, start a, start a new business that's you know not really going to be the most peaceful thing that provides peace maybe it's starting a yoga practice and it's the opposite of what your achieving brain thinks that is going to bring you that inner peace but you feel like because well this will take care of all the things that i feel like i don't have sometimes we ha are surprised by the path and delivery in which we're taken when we ask for something so this is saying it's time to get quiet it's time to close down the thinking it's time to really commit to the practices that give you the space to go inward to search for your own truth for your inner magic for your power for clarity if you're looking outside yourself from clarity again clarity on the outside can only come as a confirmation to what you already know inside it has to start there first so this is saying take time to get quiet and go inward take time to really explore some of the questions that have been coming up for you like this this one is very uh, prominent when you start a self-discovery journey but who am I what is my purpose? What am I here for? And I will tell you that this year, my, I always set my intention for the year. We all have our words and I want to tune in like, hey, we're in the second month of the year. What was your word that you said at the beginning of the year? And are you staying in alignment with that? Are you staying true to that? For me this year, my word was peace, tuning into my inner peace. And for me, that means more time on my yoga mat. That means more time getting quiet and doing hypnosis sessions with Chris. That means that I have to start doing something different to get the result that I'm asking for. And if peace is what I'm asking for and I go out into the mall, like that's the opposite, right? So we have to take action that's in aligned with what it is we want. So when you think about tuning into your inner peace, when you turn inward to like deal with the inside of your system, do you feel peaceful? Do you feel like you can turn inward and you're not just heading into the cave of the unknown and the fear and darkness and all the chaos? Or do you feel safe and supported and love like you have an inner sanctuary where you can retreat from the crazy world? How do you feel about your inner sanctuary? Do you feel safe and comfortable inside of yourself, like inside yourself? Or do you feel like every time I turn inward or try to th turn, like stop thinking, uh, I have all of these like negative thoughts come up and I just can't escape myself. Where do you fall on that? How do you feel? Unbreakable spirit bought a badge. What, what? I think you're my first badge person. How cute is that? I don't even know what they are, but yes, queen. I love it. Um, so freaking cool is that? So tune into your inner peace. What practice do you do to turn inside to get quiet? Leave that in the comments below. Is it a yoga practice? Is it a meditation practice? Is it walking quietly in nature? What is that practice to help you tune into your inner peace? This is, this is what's being asked of for you right now to really focus on um, spending time in that quiet space because you know it's the opposite of what our mind thinks we need to do our mind thinks we need to do more and achieve more and knock more off the freaking list but the truth is the more you quiet and slow down and and find that inner peace everything on the outside begins to just change and shift and and it's like what like what i've been trying so hard to like push up this hill and to be successful and to achieve these goals but the second you relax and you make it fun and playful and effortless. And I'm not saying it's not gonna be work, but it's the way that you approach it with your attitude and your energy. And when you can come from a peaceful place, things begin to start moving at a much more rapid pace, which seems weird because you're slowing down and you think if you slow down, you're gonna slow everything else down. But we live in this paradoxical world and that's really the only way that we can create these lessons and understand that it's not just black and white, that there's two sides to both coins, you know? Mm. healthy wealthy stylist in the house what what hey girlfriend oh my bathtub that's a good one yeah i i find inner peace and sanctuary um in my salt bath for sure sophia says i love to go for a walk in nature or sit on the beach well sophia count down the days because we will be there in like i don't know five days in destiny and i cannot wait to walk on the beach with you my friend um okay last card for the full moon in leo it has been so fun to see like perform a random act of kindness so hey take time to do something good for another and it will come back to you and it just makes the it spreads the good vibes like herpes 
<laughs> you are pure magic. This is a reminder that you have everything inside of you that you need to manifest your wild and crazy dreams. And you, all you have to do is just believe in yourself to have that confidence. And I know I'm saying it like, yeah, just do it, no big deal. It took me years and decades of healing work and trauma processing and breath work and yoga and meditation. So I get that it's an ongoing process. But if you're in my world, if, you're, if you've been on this journey with me, then you know that this is a constant conversation and it doesn't just happen overnight. It is a moment to moment commitment to loving yourself and making that relationship with you priority. Hey Ellen. All right, last card from the new deck that I was showing you guys, the Mindful Collective Affirmations. All right, so here's what we pull. Here's the back, let me show you guys the back, 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 back. Okay, boom, boom. It's like so bright today, like what's the deal? Okay, joy is the word. Joy is our mindful affirmation. Oh, love this word. Go ahead, feel it. Pure, radiating, unapologetic joy. Feel your smile spread from ear to ear as your heart swells with utter bliss. We never need a reason to feel joy. Joy is all around. It is in everything and also in nothing. We simply have to allow ourselves to feel it. So go ahead, lean into it and let it in. So one of the lessons I teach in Shine School is called What Lights You Up? And in that, we do an exercise creating your happy list. And what that is is designed to help you come up with a list of things that bring you joy. And when you write down this list of, let's say, 10 things that bring you joy, one, it reminds you that the things that you love are available. They're accessible. They're usually free. And they're right there waiting for you to just commit. And the second thing is so many times when people aren't into the custom routine of committing to self-care rituals on a daily basis, they get that five minutes of me time and they're like, shit, what do I do? I don't know what to do. They usually end up scrolling on Instagram or some fiddle farts crap. But if you have this list of the things that bring you joy, sometimes we don't have to rely on our mind for that. We can just look at the list and go, oh, you know what would feel really good right now is to call a friend. I really just feel like I wanna catch up with someone. Or look at your list and go, oh, walk in nature, Pfft, the weather's perfect today, that's what I need. So creating the happy list does two things. It reminds you that there's a lot in your life that brings you joy, and a lot of the times we're just, oh, hate to be so harsh, but ungrateful. We're just ungrateful for all the blessings and joy and abundance in our life. And then the second thing is it gives you that go-to list so that you never have to go, well, what do I need to do again? What do I like? What makes me feel good? and you don't get caught in that trap. So I challenge you to create your happy list, whether you join Shine School or you've been through that process or not, it's a very powerful um, tool to help you know what you can do for you instead of waiting for someone to do it for you. Leanne says, oh, I wrote about joy today. Such an awesome word to express everything. Now there's definitely a difference between happiness and joy. So you have to be mindful that happiness is circumstantial. It's fleeting. It's usually when something cool happens and then it disappears. And joy is an everlasting choice to sit in peace and appreciation no matter what the circumstances are on the outside. And that's why joy is lasting and happiness is fleeting. Um, okay, what do you guys think? What card? Oh, oh, hi goddess, love your style today. You guys, Brooke, you gotta see these pants. Hold on. Ugh, I have like the coolest freaking star bell bottoms on right now. Literally. I need like a full body woo woo Wednesday day. So I have an obsession with clothes. It's kind of a thing. I thought I was gonna go to school to be graphic design for and um, uh, clothing design and all of that, but I ended up doing hair design instead. <laughs> and I just dress cute, so it's perfect combo. Thank you for the Woo Woo Wednesday reading. Choose love and joy. I know, right? So good. Um, did an exercise at work and had to choose my two biggest values. Ooh, I'd love to hear what those are, Vic. What are your two big values? And that's a really powerful one to sit on because that also helps you to determine who you are, what you stand for, what's your integrity, because when you set those boundaries for not allowing people to cross them anymore, when you know who you are, when you know your core values, you instantly know when someone's crossed your boundary and you can kind of take a step back from that. I am full Libra vibes, like aesthetic is everything. I'm pretty sure that's why hair just worked so well. Plus my mom was a hairdresser and um, 
she just didn't do it right. I had to, had to take over and bring my sparkle magic to it. Um, and speaking of, that's really, it's, I'm glad that you brought that up. Um, not necessarily the Libra, but it got me thinking. You know, one of the things I absolutely attribute to the success in my business is having a strong formula and foundation, a blueprint, if you will, because I am so spontaneous and I'm all about sparkles and colors and what feels good and what's like bright and pretty, but what's pretty doesn't, isn't always effective in your uh, marketing methods, right? In getting your business out into the world. I wish it was cause I could, you know, hell, I would do a damn good job on that, but that's just not how it works. And so for me, what I had to do is take a step back and find a practical plan and a system and a foundation for my business to operate and run at a more um, sustainable level, but really like optimize where there's systems and funnels and things that like my brain doesn't want to do. But knowing that I have to balance that masculine like structure with the feminine like spontaneity and inspiration and ideas. I really had to get serious about investing in my business growth. And as a hairdresser, I invested loads of time, money, and energy into hair courses, learning how to do better balayage, to not fry off the hair, to all, all the things, right? To cut your wolf cuts, okay? But what I didn't realize is that I could be the best hairdresser in the world, but if I don't have a system behind me, if I don't have a plan, if I don't know how to get my message out into the world in an effective way, then no one's gonna know about me. And so I invested back in 2014 in a program called B-School with my mentor, Marie Forleo. And just pause really quick. Let's also full circle talk about the manifestation since full moons are about manifesting in the practical world or in the physical world. I freaking manifested an interview with Marie and we talked all last week and that uh, episode will be going live next week on the Elevated Life podcast and it was a huge full circle moment for me because I remember being the scared little the hairstylist that wanted to take her business online and make a bigger impact and, and help the world and I didn't know what to do and I took the leap of faith and invested in myself and I invested in B-School and I trusted Marie with my business. And although at that time I didn't have a website, I didn't know, I didn't have Shine School, I didn't have an Oracle deck, I didn't have a freaking clue. But what I did have is a drive to keep spreading this mission of empowerment. I didn't know how, I didn't know what it was gonna look like. So what I did is I invested in B-School knowing that I didn't have a website, but I would. I knew that that was gonna be the next step. And I took all the business principles, and I was already 10 years into my hair career. I took all the business principles that I was learning in B-School and I was applying them to my hair salon. I revamped everything. I came up with a new ideal client. I cut out a lot of services that didn't bring me joy or uh, abundance. It was just a time suck. And so I reevaluated and I put in this practical plan and system into my hair salon. And what I found is that that took off like crazy, even beyond abundance that I could ever imagine. And when that started so effortlessly, just like, oh my gosh, I just changed a few things and like everything has changed. I realized that now was the time I had tapped out of the hair salon. I had reached the fullest potential that I could in that space that I was doing. And I knew that that was, that was the end of my rope. I was like, now it's time to really just jump and, and start this online business and try to get this message out of committing to yourself to your self care and falling in love with yourself and reclaiming your power and i like i said i didn't know what to do but it, it had proven to be successful with my hair salon and so i went back and i took b school again two years later because once you sign up you have access you know for life and that has been so beneficial because i've been able to go back and check myself or i had i wasn't even at that next level yet and it took years to get there and so then i'll go back when i'm ready for it so that's one thing i love about it. it's like having constant you know resources and basically business college at your fingertips and so when i was ready I went back through B-School with the idea, a fresh new slate, a clean mind, that I was going to start my online business and I was doing it from, from scratch, but with the proven successful principles that I knew would make that business successful, even though I didn't know what the hell I was doing. So I went back through B-School and I started the website and I probably wrote my About Me t like 1900 times, probably more, and I'm still rewriting it today. It's constantly changing and that's one thing that I see people get stuck on is they don't, it's not perfect or they don't know what to write so they just don't do it. I just started the website. My About Me page was like four sentences long. It was honestly kind of bare and pathetic and I didn't care. 
I just wanted to start. And over time I would add more and then I would work with more clients and I'd realize what I'm, what I'm bringing to the table so that I can articulate that to see if we're the right fit. And so this is my advice to you. If you're serious about taking your dreams and turning them into not only impact in the community, but income for yourself so that you can live at a comfortable level, then this is my call to you to invest in your business growth and join me on this journey and Marie in taking B-School. Right now, she has a free training called Six Step, it's a six step roadmap to starting and growing your online business. It's completely free, there's three videos, and if you just stop there, you are gonna, you're gonna have the next like six steps on what you need to do to get the ball rolling. But if you watch the training videos and you feel so inspired and so motivated and you're ready for those next six steps, because once you've accomplished them, you're like, okay, what's more? I, I need more, I need more. Then I invite you to join us on the B-School journey. This year, we are opening the doors to B-School, um, I, I believe on the 22nd, and it's the first day of the couples retreat, which is so crazy timing. So I'm gonna be doing my best job to balance both showing up to bring you this information because the doors only open one time a year, and she only does this training once. So you guys definitely wanna jump on this free training. You can sign up for that at Brittany Carmichael michael.com slash six dash steps. I know that's kind of confusing, number six. So just shoot me a DM and say, hey, I want that free business training and I will send it to you. I really, really, really recommend that you take your dreams by the horns, if you will, and make courageous change. Take that next step, invest in yourself, whether it's you need a new website or you need the business plan or you need a mentor, like whatever that next step of growth and investment is for you, I challenge you to take that. Don't wait. My goodness, how many people do I coach? And they tell me, I've had this idea for years. I coached someone last year and she said, I've been wanting to build my website for 12 years. And by the end of my 90 day program, girl, we had a website up and running and I was at, it was so good that I was like, oh, I need to redo mine now, shit. <laughs> So don't wait, don't wait 12 years to finally start that website or offer your service. Even if, you're, even if you offer it for free, I did so many free tarot readings in the beginning just to get like confidence in myself and to make sure I wasn't like, I was crazy, but I wasn't that crazy, you know? So whatever, wherever you're at, whatever stage of growth in, in this business journey you're in, I wanna support you on that. So if this is your year where you're like, I'm freaking ready, I wanna make my dreams a reality, I'm ready to start my own business, but I need help, let me help you, let Marie help you, and it's gonna start by watching this free six steps to, ha the six step roadmap to starting and growing your online business. It's incredible. Ah, Rebecca's here. She took B-School last year with us. Hello, gorgeous. She says, excited to hear what the cards have to say. If anything is coming through from the universe, I would love to know what cards of your intention has for me. Always open to receive. Oh, I love that, Rebecca. I'd love to hear from you about your B-School um, experience as well. All right, this one's for Rebecca. She asked, hey, ask and you shall receive. This one's for you, Rebecca. And if you go back and listen, I was talking about you earlier, but you won't even know it was you until you know. <laughs> ah, this is the card. Show off your sparkle and shine from the inside. <laughs> Does it look familiar? Uh, beautiful, so there you go, there you have it. It's your time to shine, sister. You've been putting in all the hard work, you've been um, really stepping up and moving through all the fears that are coming up. I'm just, I love seeing you guys succeed, so thank you for that, thank you for asking. Um, okay, so B-School, there you have it. I wanted to share that with you guys while I am live because next week we'll be in Destin for the couples retreat and I will not be joining you live next week. So, had to make sure to bring you guys the full moon and Leo message and to remind you that B-School is here, it's back, and I'm ready to support you in your business growth with my mentor, Marie. Also, make sure you listen to next week's podcast on Friday where I interview her. Let me just tell you, she talked about boundaries, setting up boundaries, and having too porous of boundaries and what that physically cost her in her health. And that, to me, is worth the listen. So be sure to check that out next week. So I'm gonna recap. Let me know which cards stood out to you today. And if you know someone who would love this, tag them below, share the message, subscribe, like, blah, 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 all the things, you know what to do. First card is perform a random act of kindness. So if whatever card resonated with you, that's card number one. Just put a one, two, or three in the comments below. So card number one, perform a random act of kindness. Was it card number two, you are pure magic? 
Or was it card number three, tune into your inner peace? Hey, or was it card number four, finding joy in every moment? Let me know what card stood out to you by dropping a one, two, three, or four in the comments below. Whew, let's see. Um, hey, Amy, it's good to see you. Uh, what else? One, two, thank you so much. I'm so glad you were here. I just love that this resonated with you guys. I hope you have the most beautiful full moon. I hope that whatever has been weighing you down is released and you feel free and you can walk boldly, courageously, and confidently in the direction of your dreams. Number three, I love it, Sophia. Number one, all right. So what random act of kindness are you guys going to do? And Sophia, what, uh, act or ritual are you going to do to tune into your inner peace all right guys thank you so much for tuning in you guys are absolutely incredible remember if you're ready to start and grow your business and you want the free training it's only available for the next week shoot me a dm i'll send you the link and answer any questions that you have but let me just say b school is the only program that i share that is not my own i am very confident that if you are willing to put in the work and to show up and to you know be excited about the thing that you're doing I, that's what motivates me is to, to help people find their passion so that they never burn out or they never feel like oh, i hate doing this or i don't want to do this because it just breaks my heart hearing people doing things that they don't love because that's not the purpose of life life is meant to be enjoyed and only you get to decide what that looks like for you so if this is your year to turn your dreams into reality and you want to start and grow that business then shoot me a dm and i will hook you up we're gonna have so much fun um also one last thing is if you decide to go on that journey with Marie and I and sign up for B-School, you'll also get some really kick-ass bonuses from me. I'll share really quickly because I won't be on live next week, but um, you will get access to Shine School, one year's worth of the Elevated Life Club membership. You will get my Oracle 101 and you'll get a B-School bonus accelerator coach, group coaching program with me and the other B-Schoolers that join um, this year. So, so many cool things loads of value in all the support and resources that I'm going to give you along the way. And um, let me see, is there anything else I'm feeling called to share? No, I just think it's time. Like no more waiting, no more dragging your feet. Let's go full force. Let's do this together. And if you're ready, shoot me a message and we'll make that magic happen. Um, hat giveaway. Oh yes, I do want to do that with her and Sophia. We talked about teaming up with a lot of our little witches and doing a fun little witchy giveaway. So that would be super awesome. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in. Love you so much. Reach out, shoot me a DM. I love hearing from you and let me know what you're manifesting on this full moon and I will catch you guys I guess in two weeks so send us all the good love and sparkle magic we're heading to Destin to host the Evolve Couples Retreat and we're just so excited to hold that space for couples to grow in love together so we will be back I'll share all that I think when we get back we're going to do a podcast on um, all the transformations and everything that we experience in the retreat and we're just so excited to be able to do that for you guys and to hold that space. So um, thank you for the message. You're so welcome. All right, guys, I'm out. Peace. Have a great rest of your day. Full moon blessings. Enjoy. I love you. See you next time.